The TDA, developing people, improving young lives. I always found maths difficult and I just wasn't looking forward to every lesson that I went to. I just thought, I can't do it because I feel like I can't answer every question and it just doesn't feel right. In primary school, maths was quite easy, but as I come into secondary school, things got harder and I didn't understand it in the way that the teacher was teaching. By the time students reach their GCSE years, many fail to progress in maths at the rate they should, and soon come to the conclusion that they're just no good at it. Having achieved a level five at Key Stage 3, in most subjects, that would then transfer into a C grade at GCSE level. For whatever reason, this doesn't happen in maths nationally, um, and here at Winchmore, only 19% of students who achieve a level five at Key Stage 3 go on to achieve a C grade at GCSE. This is why Winchmore School in North London decided to take part in a national strategy pilot called Study Plus. It's aimed at motivating students who may be in danger of failing in maths. Teachers were pleased to be able to offer something different and targeted students were encouraged to join the pilot. We were constantly saying, yes, this is going to benefit you and it will support you to get your grade C. And no, we're not going to be just doing more maths. It's not going to be just doing pages of worksheets and you're not going to get exercise books. So it's going to be different. Rather than just hammering in more and more maths, it's appealing to their wider interests because more maths doesn't seem to work. This is a new, imaginative, different way of approaching learning. First of all, uh, Mr Myers is here to do a little quick starter with you. Uh, we'd like you to use your whiteboard. Study Plus encourages students' interest in maths by introducing fresh, unusual approaches to the subject. Bonjour la classe. Bonjour. Voici 160, d'accord? It's different because we do like diff put different lessons into maths, so we like put French in and we'll like, talk French and do maths at the same time. 50% de 160. For students who don't like maths or have simply lost interest, the school's found bringing other subjects into maths works well. 5%. I enjoy maths sometimes. It depends. On this math lesson is much enjoyable than other ones, than other math lessons. Didn't really like maths, but I like the other subjects, and if you mix them, it's quite good. Super. Voilà, très bien. Excellent. Put your pens and whiteboards in the middle and you need to get your green folders. Study Plus, although we're doing it to focus on raising attainment in maths, doesn't just focus on maths. And I think that if it did, then the students would get very fed up of doing double the amount of maths lessons. So it's focusing on developing their thinking skills, it's focusing on approaches to teaching and learning, and it's making sure that those students are good learners. And take out your MP3 player work. Please. Involving other subjects brings variety to the lessons, but the main purpose of Study Plus is to encourage the students' interest in maths by demonstrating its relevance to their lives. Lesson three of the MP3 players. In Study Plus, maths is taught through context. So, for example, today we did looked at MP3 players and how we can work out percentage discounts based on the prices that they researched previously. What type of data do we collect, Yemi? Like megabytes, the cost. Right, excellent. They were telling me and about gigabytes and megabytes and the different sizes. The memory. Um, page carry-on, maybe. The make okay, of the then. MP3. The make of the MP3 player. They bring in a lot of interest and they have a lot of knowledge themselves when they come into the lesson and I, and I introduce a unit of work. So um, I'm learning from them, from them as well sometimes. <laughs> what I'd like you to do is to work out the sale price of your MP3 players. They own MP3 players, most of them, and they can see it in shops and they know about sales and discounts, so it's all in context. Any ideas how you're going to do this? Taking away the normal price. Mm -hmm. uh, no. 10% um... of what the price of the MP3 players okay. and then find out 5% add the two prices together. Okay. We worked in groups and we had to pretend that we're shops, that like we're selling MP3 players and we had to like um, see like 
15% off what the price would be after the normal price and VAT as well. You can buy clothes for half price. Yeah. So that's 50%. That's what I... Working out how to calculate a percentage yeah, is beginning there. to yeah. seem worthwhile. Yeah. This is 25% off yeah. this clothe, and I, think, I look at it and I think, how I don't much know. It's, it? it? yeah, it's only 50%. Yeah. It makes it feel more realistic when we're talking about MP3 players and like, if you go into a shop and it's hard to like work out half price of something or like 50%, 25% off it and stuff. And I was always got confused. So the way she's put it in real life, we can understand it, like work it out in our head. Cage said, find 15% off, and if you listen carefully to what he said, he actually told you how to find 15%, and then you need to take it away from your original sale, original price to find the sale price. 34.99 so divided by two pounds fifty equals 3.499. This is this sort of maths is also getting you ready for like the real world, like. So when you're going to shops that you know what the price is for, like the real world, like so when you're going shops that you know what the percent, the discount is gonna be, <laughs> but in, ma in maths, it's not, it's not exactly the same sort of in normal maths lessons, but this one's different. So, so one pound seventy-five. That's right. Schools taking part in the Study Plus pilot were provided with a start-up package of materials, but are expected to tailor the content of their lessons to their particular students. It's very individualised and personalised because you never know who you have in front of you and what their needs are and what their interests are. So although um, I'm using some of the units from, from the package I was given, we are encouraged to write more um, in order to cater for their needs. When you got the total, you take away the... And I collected information from the students about their options and their interests and their hobbies so that I could plan units for them. To buy a £35 MP3 player for £5 now. Wow, what a great deal that is. I know that a lot of my students do geography, so I'm trying to write uh, an element of coursework because I know they do a lot of maths in their coursework, so I'm trying to write a unit that incorporates that so that when they come to do their uh, geography GCSE, they'll be well prepared. We're not selling our stock as fast as we thought. What should we do? Study Plus Maths is timetabled into the school's two-week curriculum. Three double lessons a fortnight. 25% off? 50%. Yeah. When we were deciding how to programme the Study Plus, we rejected doing it as um, an after-school activity or trying to do it just within the maths lessons. We felt if we were going to do it, we had to do it properly. <laughs> And so we came up with the idea that those students who were going to do the Study Plus, it would be there in one of the option columns, which, although it limits the choice of options, they can now only do two options rather than three, we felt it was really worth it because the maths GCSE is one of the most important ones that they can get. It's crucial that parents understand why the school believes it's necessary for their children to give up a GCSE option to do Study Plus. We want to encourage students to be inquisitive and to think for themselves, to be independent learners. Increasingly, as they get older, that means studying at home. If the parents are on board, then obviously the outcomes will be far better. We thought it was really important to have a meeting with parents so we could explain exactly what Study Plus was about and about the benefits from it. And as we expected, some parents came in not very convinced at the start, but by the end of the meeting they could see exactly what the purpose of it was and the parents were very supportive of it. They could understand that if their child didn't have a grade C in maths, then the options for the future were very limited. Mom? She had to drop an option to take the Study Plus on, um, so we discussed it, and we thought it was a very good idea. I would rather her and she would rather get, you know, a good mark in her core subjects than, you know, use another subject that wouldn't, wouldn't benefit her, really. It was kind of a mixed feeling, really. I mean, uh, Sean was a little bit disappointed, I think, to give up, I mean, to give up the geography, which he's quite interested in. But at the same time, it made sense to have extra tuition in you know, some of the subjects that he was struggling a little bit with. Initially, I was quite surprised that they chose Kate to do Study Plus. When you hear the word Study Plus, you think this is for children that need help with their maths. And Kate has always quite enjoyed maths and, and has always done quite well in maths. But then they spoke about research being done showing that some children who do do well still don't go on to achieve a level C. So I was glad that they'd actually identified that and actually given him a place on the course. Good communication between the teacher and parent is assisted by the TA in Study Plus. One of the 
key elements of Study Plus is using the teaching assistant uh, as a contact between uh, you and the parent and finding about the information that the students are doing in all of their other lessons, right, and feeding that A into the lesson of Study Plus yeah, and so also back to the parents. Great. How many 1% are there in 10%? Ten. So how can we find 1%? It is time consuming to find out information, which is where the teaching assistant comes into play. She does all the running around for me and in information gathering so that all I have to do is plan a lesson and then deliver it. Right. That's 10%. Half that. So, all right. As part of the information gathering process, the teaching assistant is planning to get progress reports from the students' teachers in other subjects. Fatima and I together will look at them and then we will decide is there a consistent thing through some of the lessons that maybe is stopping them from learning and I'm going to take them out of the lessons one at a time individually to see if they understand what's stopping them learning and to find out what we can do to help them get over these problems. The Study Plus students are in no doubt joining the pilot was the right decision with many benefits. The other maths lessons is much more people that may not be on the same level as you are. So in Maths Plus, all at the same level and there's two teachers to help with a group of only a few people, so it's easier for us to learn. Well, in the main maths lesson, because there's so many children in the class and they've got like, it's like quite a short time, they just teach what they've got to teach and then go on to the next bit. So if a lot of people don't understand, then they've just got to carry on because they don't want to fall behind like, in yeah. their teaching. Okay. It's like one teacher on the whole class and they don't really come up to you often because they're just teaching and it's, you've got like limited time. Yes. 2.5p. 2.5p. You, know, you can't have you know half p. No, you can't. So what can you do instead? Can you find the original answer? 3p, yeah. That's right. Okay. Don't forget to round it to the, ne round it to the nearest whole pound. I think study maths plus lessons are far more interesting because it's stuff that as children we could enjoy as well as just sitting in the class board. I think the key to Study Plus is getting the students interested and motivated and believing that they actually can achieve. And by dealing with something which is not overtly to do with maths, we can stimulate their interest and then bring the maths in. And I think a lot of the emphasis needs to be on encouraging those students to enjoy and to achieve. Um, the main point of this lesson in what I learned is how to find a percentage off something and um, the reduced price and how do we use it in today's world for example VAT which equals 7.5%. It's still early days for the pilot but it does appear to be having a positive impact. The difference between Study Plus and Normal Maths is that in Study Plus they're getting it into your head that you can do this, you can do maths. It is giving you a lot more confidence in uh, maths. I like it. It's a fun environment because there's, it's, everyone's happy because they're learning, but they're learning in a good way, and it's like a different way. Yeah, it's more exciting. So like, every time you go in, it's a different thing we're doing and not just stuck on the same maths. They've made it so the work that we do in the Study Plus is getting us ready for the life, the real world when, when we finish school. Thank you.